Hello, this is Reverend Ken Wilcox with the Center for Spiritual Living, St. Augustine. Last week, my talk title was on gratitude. Uh, you know, we're told to give, express gratitude for everything, even the tragedies in our lives. Ralph Waldo Emerson, he wrote that tragedies, if we give them enough distance, that we will have a sense that they were exactly where they needed to be. Neil Donald Walsh uh, wrote in his Conversations with God that even difficult people, we can view them as angels. I heard a story uh, that Oprah Winfrey told about, and she said that she was so in love early in her career with a man uh, that one time to keep him from leaving her, she uh, threw his keys uh, down the drain. Now, she says she's grateful at this point that he had an extra set of keys because he really wasn't that good for her. And now, looking back, she's grateful for the fact that he broke her heart and left her. You know, one time in my life, uh, I went traveling with a friend. We went with a couple of other people that we didn't know so well to the Bahamas. And it was a perfectly awful trip. The people that we went with complained about everything. Uh, they didn't like the beach, they didn't like the water, they didn't like the food, they didn't like the people. It was such an awful experience that I actually left early to go back to Washington in February just to get away from them. Now, me and my friend have traveled lots. We've uh, seen all over the world practically. And when we get together and talk, the one trip that will always make us laugh is the horrible trip to the Bahamas. A friend of mine who has recently made his transition, we had his memorial service a couple of weeks ago, was Bernie Beaumont. He was an amazing guy. He wrote a book called Cancer Cured Me. Cancer Cured Me. He said that until he uh, had a diagnosis of cancer, he was an angry person, he was not caring, uh, he didn't have a spirituality. But that to overcome cancer, he had to embrace his feelings. He had to open himself up to uh, caring, and he had to become more spiritual. He said if it had not been for the experience of cancer, he could not have become the loving person that he became. And I can tell you, at the end of his life, my dear friend Bernie was surrounded by loving people who couldn't do enough to help him out. You know, when we are generous, when we are kind, and we are compassionate, we will find the help we need to get through life. Now, know this truth with me. There's a miracle wanting to be birthed in your life this week. It's your job to go name that miracle, to proclaim it, and to make it your own. God bless us all. I hope to see you this Sunday, 1795 Old Moultrie, and if not then, next week on YouTube. Blessings.